What's going on? Ryan Troy back with another video for you today. And in today's video, I'll be covering something that can get very frustrating. See, we have these nice cameras that have a lot of megapixels, hold a lot of information, and then we spend a lot of time editing. And after that, we're ready for the world to see. So what do we do? We post these huge files to Instagram and that's where we go wrong. See, the way Instagram compresses our photos, it actually takes all the detail away. So we go from a photo we spend all this time editing to a photo we barely even recognize. I am going to show you how to get rid of that. We're going to make sure that we post photos the right way to make sure they stay sharp as possible. Let's head on over to Photoshop. So now that we're in Photoshop, this will be the photo that I will be bringing into Instagram. Now the first and the most important thing you will want to do, and you need to do this whether you are uploading to Instagram or any other place on the web, is to make sure that your color profile is in sRGB. Now the reason why is because if you have any other color space besides sRGB, your colors will not be accurate. It will throw the colors all the way off. So in order to do that, first we will need to come up to where it says edit, come down to where it says convert to profile, and this is where you check which color profile you're in. Now I'm currently in the sRGB, but if you were not in this, you will come to where it says destination space, and you will check sRGB with all these other different letters and numbers. Just make sure you're in sRGB, okay? And you press okay, and then it'll convert that to that profile. Now, the next step that we want to do is Instagram lets us upload in two different aspect ratios, either a square, which is a one by one or a four by five. So you will click your crop tool up here four, and then you put a five right here, four by five. And then what you'll do is just crop it to however you would like. I think that's pretty good right there. Go ahead on and check that out. Now we're fine with that now is on to the most important part or one of the most important parts come to where it says file go to where it says export and export as okay now right here we want this to be a jpeg and we want this to be a hundred percent now i usually experiment with this between 72 and a hundred percent okay so Anywhere from 72% to 100%, you should be you should be fine. If 100% doesn't work for you and you still feel it isn't as sharp as you feel it could be, then go ahead on and, and lower it down. Now, the image size. Instagram lets us post a width of 1080 and a height of 1350. So once you put 1080 right there, it'll change it there. So it's going to do the cropping for you right here in Photoshop, okay? and you would put this on by cubic sharpener all right and this way it'll just give it just a tad bit more sharpening on the final image all right uh i would like to embed color profile just so i'm looking at right here as far as what i'm looking at back there just to make sure everything's good and after that you would just choose export export it to wherever you want to choose and from there that's it once you upload this photo to Instagram, this photo should be very, very sharp. No more blurry pictures. So if you learned anything in this video, make sure you leave it with a like. Go ahead on and subscribe. And if there's anything you want to know, feel free to leave it in the comment section below. Have a nice day. Peace.